Sempre Viet, welcome back guys to the Minecraft Military Force. Today we're going to be building the Russian main battle tank T-80 BVM. Now, this is a modernized version of the Soviet T-80 BV in 2017 by the Omsk Transport Machine Factory in Omsk, Russia. And it has a 125mm gun. And uh, you might be wondering why there's two of them. Well, the one in the front is Bunny. And the one in the back is your Russian army version. So Bunny is actually captured by the Ukrainian 93rd Mechanized Brigade. And early in the war, it's like March 2022, it was found abandoned in a field on the outskirts of Kharkiv. Maybe it ran out of fuel because of logistic problems. But basically when they captured it, it made it look closer to this one. with The Russian Z in the sides and the front. And they also had like some numbers over here. And also added some external fuel tanks to this one to make it a little different. Um, but basically, they nicknamed it Bunny. There's actually a really cool picture and video of it in action. And there was even a, also a picture where they put bunny ears on the tank. And they say they destroyed at least six Russian tanks with this, but uh, it was immobilized by motor fire and was set fire to avoid capture in April last month. Now it's destroyed in Bakhmut. But yeah, let's go take a look at this build. I think it's uh, pretty cool. And it is different from the standard of Russian T-80 BVM. Well, at least I made it different with the giant Ukrainian flag right over here. Uh, they put like some supplies down here and a little bit here. They also blackened out the Z on the side. So that's represented by this dark oak sign you see before the Z was here and then they just blackened it out. And in the front we got some red mine plows. So that is another cool feature about this tank. For the rest, I think it's pretty much the same as the other one. Um, you know, just this one has the Zs and this has external fuel tanks. And also this one has the windshield up in. This is just to protect the commander for the elements. As for the similarities, uh, the same thing is going to be the ERA armor on the side. The front of the turret also has ERA armor. And if we look at the other one, here we got the anti-aircraft gun with the commander and the antenna here in the middle. Um, but yeah, that should be pretty much it for the build. Hope you guys enjoyed this design. It's been a long time coming. Yeah, let's get started. All right, so first off, I'll be making the Russian version of it. And later, if you want to, you can convert it to be the captured version. All right, so let's grab some materials. We'll take out a dark prismarine slab, stairs, warp trap door, polished blackstone brick uh, slab, stairs, a chiseled polished blackstone, a spruce button, and um, yeah. That's it for right now. So first off, we'll add in um, Dark Prismarine stairs, two blocks above the ground. And then um, down below, diagonally down, chisel, polish blackstone two, skip block two, skip a block one. Upside down, polish blocks and brick stairs, right side up facing the back, two of them here. Spruce buttons on the sides of the wheels and polish blackstone brick slab right there. Then we'll add in dark prismarine slab, all, I mean, block all the way across the side to the back. And then an upside down polished block and brick stairs and a dark prismarine stairs here. And then next to that's going to be a green terracotta. It's just two blocks long like that. And then a row of warp trap doors, three blocks wide and add in another two on the inside of this. And two blocks wide dark prismarine slab. And we'll extend this to go all the way to the front. Just like that. And then we'll add in dark oak signs to the sides of this front corner. Warp trap door in the middle. Two blocks wide dark prismarine slab. And then we'll add in green terracotta right behind it. Two blocks wide all the way to the back. Then we're going to add in three blocks long of warp fence. And then in the middle we'll add a deep slate tile slab. And then a row of dwarf fence gates, and we're going to open the one in the outer edge up like that. Two blocks wide, dark prismarine slab. And warp trap door, two blocks long here, add another two over here. Then we'll add in um, three warped fence like that. A warp fence gate here. Then we'll go in the front of this, add in a mossy cobblestone wall here. This side will add in two mossy cobblestone walls. And then an upside down dark prismarine stairs here. And then another one in the front, facing the front. Then we'll add in a two by two of green terracotta. Then an upside down dark prismarine stairs, two blocks wide, corner of the outer one. Then I'm gonna add in a chain in the middle of this and iron bars, three blocks tall. 
Then the middle we'll add in a daylight detector, make it blue, warp trap door there. Uh, dark prismian slab here. Daylight detector, two blocks long, make it blue. Two dark prismian slabs. And then two warp slab, I mean warp trap doors underneath. And then two daylight detectors and we'll make them blue, just like that. All right, next we'll add in light gray stained glass pane here and andesite walls all the way across the side. A zombie head to the side of this. So that's pretty much it for this side. So copy everything we did here and build the other half. All right, once you have the other half, it looks like this. Then we'll go off to the side, add a lever here. Then we'll go off to the side of this, add in dark oak uh, fence gate. Chain the front of it. In the back, um, Dark Prismarine stairs like that. Dark Prismarine stairs back to back here. And Dark Prismarine slab right here. Zombie head facing towards the back. Zombie head to the side of the machine gun. And another zombie head that will be right here. And we're going to add warp trap door. One here. Another one on top of the stairs. Uh, warp fence here. Then we'll add in a spruce fence gate here. Open that up. And then a birch sign to the side of this, both sides. Then we'll add in a heavy weighted pressure plate right here in the middle. And another one in the front on this side. Next up, we'll add in a warped pressure plate on both sides. Just like that. And now we need to make the windshield banner. So go to the side of the loom, green banner, black dye. Uh, row across the top, put it back inside, and then green dye. Make a border around it, put it back inside. And then a light gray dye, and we want to fill across half of it, um, just like that. Alright, so we're basically just going to place this banner in front of that trap door. And we got our gun shield, and that is the Russian T-80 BVM. Alright, so now it's converted to make bunny. So to make bunny, the Ukraine version, uh, basically delete this here. And I will also delete this and go in the back, delete this, and we'll remove the Z's by adding dark oak signs, replacing the birch. Delete this uh, pressure plate in the front, add in a lever right there. Then we'll delete these signs, add in a polished deep slate slab and daylight detector on top for both sides. Make it blue. And mangrove fence gates open them up in front for um, the mine plow. Then the middle part is going to be a spruce trap doors, two of them. And then we'll go over here and we're going to add in the Ukrainian flag. This is just going to be blue on top and yellow at the bottom. And we'll delete the middle parts, make it two blocks wide like that. We'll also add in a green carpet here and then chains on sides of that. And we're also removing the external fuel tank. And we'll also delete this trap door here. These two add an oak uh, slab and an oak trap door on top. And another one to the side. And that's how you make bunny in Minecraft. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, the T80 BVM. If you guys enjoy this video, hit the like button down below, subscribe if you had already. And if you guys are interested in sponsoring future videos, check out the link in the description. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.